Hi, I'm Gab Naturalist, and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about more bee TikToks. This time I'm going to do a little bit more good ones, but also share some bad ones. And here is our first one. Roll the clip. So this first TikTok is by Native Plants for Life, and I honestly love their TikTok page. It is amazing, lots of great information, but I love the point that she's making here is that there's so many people when they hear scientists, they, even some scientists actually do spread this stuff, but that's because they don't understand that honeybees are invasive. But anyone who does specifically study a native bee or multiple native bees or has just learned a lot about the diversity of bees, they know, they know that honeybees are invasive to the Americas. And a lot of people just don't get this. And I think part of that is just a lot of people uh, don't know how to identify uh, different types of bees or they don't know that there's other types of bees. And I don't really blame people for that because a lot of people think that there's like one species for a lot of different things, which isn't true. But what makes this particularly hard is that there is so much misinformation put out there about bees and save the bees. Like, so much. And it's even perpetuated by things like places that sell plants, places that uh, grow plants, farms, a lot of misinformation is out there. So this makes it very difficult to find the true information when it comes to native bees and the Americas and which bees need to be saved in the Americas because in the United States particularly, it is very much emphasized that we need to save the honeybees. Which is not what we need to be doing. Oh my goodness. Which is exactly why I'm about to show you this next clip. So first issue I have with this video. You can't have a universal. Like seed thing for the entire world that doesn't include an invasive plant because there's like native species in the americas that's actually invasive in europe like lupinus uh polyphyllus is largely lupin uh is extremely invasive in europe yet it is a vital native species here in montana so vastly different ecosystems have very different species needs so if you have some wildflowers in this and you put it let's say in montana it could be native to montana but if you go over to europe like somewhere in sweden and you put it there that same exact seeds there it's most likely going to be invasive so you can't have something that isn't invasive universally number two problem i have with this tiktok so planting plants like just any random plants that have flowers isn't actually going to help native bees it may help like uh honeybees just because but they don't need any help like honestly it's doing nothing for them because they already are fed a whole bunch um it's just putting more pressure on native bees which need specific flowers especially native plants uh to pollinate and collect food from so if you're going to be planting flowers, make sure they're native. And I don't know if in this specific product there even is a list of what wildflower wildflowers are in this package. So if it doesn't say, I really suggest not planting it. And I, I've seen at grocery stores and places like Ace Hardware and garden centers, they have like these wildflower mixes that purposefully trick people into thinking that these are good native plants 
for the environment. And that is not the case most of the time. I made actually a TikTok on this, about this on my page, about a few seed packets I found at Ace. And very few species in that packet were actually native. Most of them were invasive. Okay, next TikTok. This one is actually from our favorite, Entomology Abbey. Yes, we love to see that native bee biodiversity. We love it. We want more of it. Show us some green bees, some orange bees, some red bees. Show us the rainbow of bees. Amazing. We love you. We love you, Entomology Abby. Go watch this girl. She's amazing. She's an actual entomologist. I could talk all day, but uh, I'm not. So... Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you next time.